was told I was going to be on uh, one to one with this gentleman that had been um, found at home. Um, I guess he had had a heart attack. This uh, elderly gentleman was very restless, and he um, was able to like communicate, um, and so. We kind of got to know each other for the first maybe two hours. And he kept saying something about his, he wanted to go upstairs. And I was like, I don't know what he means by this. And then I just had this burning like desire to find out what is upstairs. So I went ahead and asked some staff and they said, oh, his wife is up on floor four. And I said, oh, how does he know that, you know? But he just kept on being persistent with that. And I thought, OK, I'm going to take him up there to see his wife. I was told by many staff that th that can't happen. And I thought, I'm going to break all these barriers because I don't know why, but inside of me, I feel like I need to do this. We showered and shaved and put on some clothes. And um, they talked to his wife. And his wife said, OK, he can come visit. Yeah. And so I thought, oh, for heaven's sakes, it's going to happen. And they had us wait in this room where there's this, uh, it's like an activity room. And there's a piano there. And um, then his wife arrived. She sat down next to him and um, didn't say a whole lot, but took her hand with the wedding ring and took his hand and just rubbed over the top. And it was just, I didn't know what to think. And then she got up and went over to the piano and whispered to me, I'm going to play a song. And then in between another couple songs, she came back over and she sat down and they kind of whispered between each other. His language was, was impaired to a point where maybe she didn't understand, but they understood on this whole other level. It was just this beautiful experience that I just was, I was watching visual to it and I was like amazed that I knew to do this you know and I was so moved to do it and they kind of said their goodbyes in their own way she again took her hand where the wedding ring was and placed it over his hand over and um, then then they just parted. I took him back down and he was much more restful that night. One of the nurses said, I want you to, do you know that gentleman that you took care of last night? Well, he died this morning. And it all made sense. It was all like, I listened to what was there and I was able to do that and just be that person for those two, that couple. I've been a nurse 20 years and I just bawled and I thought, Oh, I have to listen to that every time. We as nurses are in this intimate spot, which is such an honor. It's an unbelievable honor. And I just thought, that's such a gift.